Yeah. <laughs> have it buried in their backyard. I, I joke. Lee, General Electric announcing that it's going to break up into three separate public traded, publicly traded companies focusing on growth <laughs> sectors, aviation, healthcare, and energy. Uh, this is truly the end to the house that Jack Welch built that maybe only he could run. Your reaction to this move by GE? Well, I think it's uh, it puts the icing on the cake of 20 years of GE bringing permanent loss of capital to their shareholders. Jack Welch may have built this thing, but he built it based on financial engineering, and over half of the value of this company was destroyed because of the fall of that house that he built. Now, it's been a couple years where you know anybody at GE knows that they've been trying to spin off healthcare because it's the only thing that makes money. But we have to remember that 2017 acquisition of Baker Hughes was a laughing stock of every place out in the oil patch. You know, I live in New Mexico, so we live in oil country, and it was a joke. They don't know the culture, they don't know how to run it. Now, the only thing interesting today that I like is not that they're actually going to pull the trigger and actually do something nice for shareholders, but they're also going to split off aviation, which might have a chance to live someday. But I think Baker Hughes is a disaster. Now, if you want to play strategy and you want to play a trader strategy, we all know that when these spinoffs happen, generally the good kid, healthcare, usually rockets up and the bad kid, the left for dead Baker Hughes, no culture there, is going to get sold off for so cheap, you might be able to make some money on it in the same way that, you know, like Gartman said, when gold's in a bear market for two years, sometimes you wanna buy it because it's gonna go higher. So I think it's the best thing that they could do for shareholders after 20 years of destroying value. And if you wanted to trade it, I would say, look at the blown up Baker Hughes as possibly a value play. And uh, I, I'm just so delighted for the people who work at GE because so many own that stock and have been punished for decades based off the sins of financial engineering. Yeah, you're leaving